If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech this module on XSLT in Workday Studio. I'll be walking you through how to use XSLT to transform XML documents in studio integrations. Let's start with the disclaimer. This video including examples, images, and references are provided for informational purposes only. Complying with all applicable copyright laws is the responsibility of the user. Without limiting the rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored or introduced into a retrieval system, or transmitted in any form or by any means. Credits shall be given to the images taken from open source and cannot be used for promotional activities. In this module we'll be covering two main topics, XSLT and Studio, and the XSLT Plus step. There are times when Workday does not present output in the desired format for simple integration tasks. One example is uppercase and lowercase letters. Workday stores people's names in mixed case, but another system might require the last name appear in all uppercase letters. Another example is social security number. SSN is typically formatted as a nine-digit numeric value if unmasked. Another system could require that the data be passed, but only show the last four digits. In this case, an extensible stylesheet language transformation or XSLT could be implemented in Workday Studio to transform the data. The XSLT plus step can be used to transform an XML document using an XSL transformation stylesheet. The XSLT plus step is added to a mediation and supports XSLT version 3.0 features. You can either import and attach the XSLT file or create it directly in the properties of the XSLT step. To import an existing XSLT file, Navigate in your studio project to the WS or INF folder and right click to select import. Under general, select file system and click next. Browse to select the directory that contains the existing XSLT file. Once that directory is selected, all files will be displayed. Select the files that you want to import into your project. To create a new XSLT file, navigate to the WS or INF folder and right click to select new other. Under the XML folder select XSL and click next. Enter a file name with an extension of XSL. If you are starting from scratch, click next to select a template. If you plan to copy slash paste, click finish. In the XSLT file, the namespace and column override headers are referenced. The values must match exactly or the file will return a blank. That covers the key points on XSLT in Workday Studio. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.